the stuff at all. Good evening. My name is Jeremy Miller. I'm co-director of Education on Incarceration at the Interstelli Foundation. You may, may remember the first name because Education on Incarceration several years ago was instrumental in returning local control to Oakland schools, and at that point we worked with y'all. However, we find that the justification of the assassination of a young black man, Raheem Brown Jr., by Oakland school police is not something we can get behind, not They're something to support. And They're so we find you. ourselves in opposition to you. And as regards this matter, let me be clear. In the, in the eyes of the people, Jonathan Belusa and Marvin Bott are accused of violating nope. California state laws 187 and 188 of homicide with malice. They are accused of violating Marvin Bott's right to life and not his purpose under the 5th and 14th Amendment of the Constitution. We hold Chief Peter Sar Sarna liable for the behavior of subordinate officers pursuant to Brandon v. Holt. Bowen v. City of Independence makes it clear that this board as a municipal body is not immune to being held liable for this. And finally, we hold General Counsel Jacqueline Minor in violation of Rule 3200 of the California Code of Professional Conduct. And as such, we, seek, we, we, we direct this to you, Tony Smith, Superintendent of Schools. We are seeking the immediate termination of Chief Peter Sarda, of Woo! Jonathan Belusa, and Marvin President Jerry B. as, as, as President this board and chief of the Ethics Council for the Oakland School District. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, brother. Oh. Uh, my name is Shane. I teach for OESD. Um, I can support 100% what each and every speaker has just said. Uh, I actually have an interesting story. It is alleged that the trigger man, Belusa, um, before worked for OPD, and he had a long history of brutality yeah. and shootings. Yes, killed twice. So I, and I wonder, I was like, well, what was the process of you know hiring this man after he was released from OPD? Hello. Because when I got a job for OUSD, hmm. I was kept from going to work for over a month, even though Oakland High had said that I could come to work for them, fill in for a woman out on maternity leave. And he poured over my application as if I was some common criminal. I kept calling, and the, the teach someone that some of the, the, the staff, the administration at Oakland High said, and I was wondering, I was like, why, why can't I go to work? Like, you know, here's this class that hasn't had a full time teacher since November. Mind you, it was English class, um, AP English, right? And then, you know, you think an AP English class would be important to have a full time teacher in the classroom. <laughs> I guarantee you that only three or four of them took the AP test and got AP credit. So here they are, they didn't have a, a teacher for a, no, since November. I could have started in the classroom in March. And you kept me from going to work for over a month. So my question is, how, did you pour over Mr. Bel Officer Belusa's application? Right. This was, I mean, clearly, uh, I know it's a little tough because in the state of California, these uh, sorry pigs have a lot of protections. <laughs> but you should have looked into that man's application before you went and put him on your staff. All right? That's and right. I also talked to him because you also, you're so pathetic, you actually had him outside patrolling before one of the school board meetings. Yes. Now this was after that Lori and her family had came here for over, damn near over a month. Right? and talk to y'all. And here, here they are, I come over here, here they are patrolling outside the school board meeting. So I talked to him, I'm like, I went up to him, I'm like, could you, would you care to respond to what happened outside on Joaquin Miller Road that night? And he said, I don't know. And I said, well, you were the trigger man, yes? He said, I don't know. And his partner said the same thing. Very smart man. These are pathetic people that you hired to patrol kids, fire, those two officers and get rid of the school police. That's your tax dollars at work, bro. My name is Veronica Abina, and I have one question to you, Mr. Tony Smith. You're laying off teachers, you're cutting a whole bunch of school programs that are absolutely needed for the community, but you can afford to put these killer cops in a position. What's going on here? When I was in school, we had 
security officers. Now it's moved to the police. And the problem is really not in the schools, it's out on the streets. If you want to tackle that problem, then so be it, but don't do it with my tax dollars. Thank you. I'm looking at each and every individual standing in front of me, sitting in front of me while we stand and we fight for justice. Because each and every one of you has a choice to make. If you came on to the school board to fight for the kids, and you demilitarize these campuses. You demilitarize because it doesn't, it doesn't, the answer is not in militarizing our youth by getting them killed outside the campus, inside the campus, metal detectors, or what and have you. So each and every one of you, black, white, Asian, brown, I don't care what color you are, but if you fight for us and you fight for us, you make a stand right now. Because our kids do not deserve this type of treatment. Would you treat our kids like that if we lived in Black Hawk? This is a mm. class question. Mm. Obviously, we are black and brown for the most part, but lower class, all of us. So we have to change things right here. Each and every one of you, black, white, brown, Asian, what have you, make a choice right now. Get these cops off our campus. Because if these people were really heroes, they'd be more willing to die than to kill. Good evening. My name is Misha Monkei-Lisavi. I'm the director of Idris Sali Foundation and co-director of uh, Education Not Incarceration with Mr. Jeremy Miller. I'm also a San Francisco City Commissioner on the Marijuana Offenses Overview Committee. I am here to address the obscene death, obscene death of a 19-year-old youth on college campus, on school campus. Okay, respectfully, you know, I'm an insider too, okay? As public servants, we have, we are liable to address and redress whenever our kids are criminalized because there is a lack of jobs, lack of health care for babies, raising babies, lack of subsidies, their parents' home are foreclosing. We're talking about the plantation, and you know it very well. Mm -hmm. This is a contemporary plantation, mm -hmm. and this is still a police department that functions within the grand tradition of the slave catchers. Mm -hmm. Okay? that were hired fresh out of the boat, famish Irish people, hired for pennies to hunt and kill. Slaves were running for their freedom. What is different now? Post-racial post post era, I'm sorry, my butt. Okay? Hmm. It is your responsibility as public servants to redress what has been done to make sure that Belusa is off the force, better off the force, and that you do the right thing. Thank you.